Hey, it's Cam and Reynolds, and I'm just going through this bee yard right here. I don't know how well you can see the bees foraging, but they're just really going at it today. We've had some nice weather, about 70 degrees, and we have little colonies here, big colonies. Um, you know, most of the colonies here, though, are, are looking exactly the way that I want them to, and, and some of them like this are actually too strong. You can see the those bees there and all these up here, and they're just packed. It's the first week of March, actually, the, I think the first day of the second week. So, um, yeah, it's the 8th. This, this hive's got to be cut back. I mean, it's just too big. We're throwing pollen patties in these things. We're going to get some rain coming up, and we're just trying to keep them trucking along. We've been fortunate, though. We've had some really good foraging weather. Pollens have been coming in good. Look at all this drone brood. You know, when they're raising that much drone brood in between, uh, the swarming isn't too awful far away for this colony, and there's uh, too much resources in some of these. You can see these uh, frames that have fall honey in them. I haven't had many like this, but there's always a couple colonies in the bee yard. I say a couple. There's probably about 40, uh, five colonies here that are actually alive out of 52. And then I'd say there's probably about 10% that have too much. Wow, that bee's really not loving me today. Laurel, I need help. Anyways, so with those colonies that have too much we're just pulling them off we've come across a couple colonies that are too light so we're just uh, we're going around and we're just uh, moving things around to try to keep bees from swarming keep them going all that kind of stuff i wish i had a camera holder today but i don't so i'm going to let you go just showing you a little bit of our glimpse of spring right here it's on the way see ya